Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's episode of Lewis Presents. I'm here in the City of London Cemetery off Aldersbrook Road in Manor Park in the heart of the East End of London. And I'm, dis I'm standing behind a plaque to a man that could be only described as a legend. It's Bobby Moore. Bobby Moore was born on the 12th of April 1941 in Waverley Gardens in Barking in Essex. He went to two schools. He went to Westbury School in Barking and he went to Tom Hood School in Leytonstone where he showed talent for sport, especially cricket and football. Bobby Moore played for Essex youth team alongside Jeff Hurst, but it was football that he really was discovered. In 1956, he joined West Ham United as a youth team player, and in 1958, aged 17, he made his debut against Manchester United as a young 17-year-old, replacing Malcolm Allison, who had to retire from football with tuberculosis. In 1962, Bobby Moore played for England in the World Cup in Chile. In 1964, Bobby Moore then was captain of England and of West Ham United. In 1964-66 to 66 really were the glory years for Bobby Moore. 1964 he was captain of West Ham United as they defeated Preston North End at Wembley 3-2 in the FA Cup final. The next year West Ham were back at Wembley again, this time they defeated 1860 Munich 2-0 to lift the European Cup Winners Cup. And then the day is that the day that Bobby Moore will live in immortality. The 30th of July 1966 at Wembley. He was the captain of England as he led him out in the World Cup final versus West Germany. In the match, England are losing 1-0 and then Bobby Moore is fouled. He takes a free kick very quickly and spots the unmarked Jeff Hurst in the box and England are back in the game at 1-1. England then took the lead through Martin Peters and England are winning 2-1. Literally with the last kick of the match, Weber equalised for the Germans to send the match into entrant time. And then in the first period of extra time, Alan Ball floated the ball over to Jeff Hurst, who shot, it hit the bar, and the Swiss and the Russian linesman decided that the ball had gone over the line and England were in the lead at 3-2. Then in the last moments of the game, Bobby Moore once has the ball again and he floats a 40 yard pass straight into the onrushing Jeff Hurst. As Jeff Hurst is making his way towards the goal, Kenneth Alstonholm made that immortal commentary. Some people are on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now and England win the World Cup 4-2. As Bobby Moore went up to the Royal Box to be presented with the World Cup, he wiped his hands because he didn't want Her Majesty the Queen to get her gloves dirty. And that day, England were champions of the world and Bobby Moore was captain of the world. Bobby Moore finished his playing career in May of 1977, playing for Fulham in the second division. We can only say that the years after football were probably not very kind to Bobby Moore. Failed business ventures and he did go into football management. In 1980, he was manager of Oxford City in the Isthmian League. In 81-82 season, he was manager of Eastern AA in Hong Kong and then from 84 to 86 he was manager of South End United in the 4th Division. The year he left in 86 South End United reached 9th position in the table and he left and went on to the board of directors and the next season Dave Webb became manager and got South End promoted with the team that Bobby Moore built. From 1990 until Bobby Moore passed away in 1993 he was an analyst and a commentator with Capital Gold and a week before he passed away, he was at Wembley to commentate on the game England versus San Marino, which England won 6 0 A week later, sadly, on the 24th of February, Bobby Moore lost his battle with cancer. He died of bowel cancer. On the 2nd of March, he was cremated at Putney, Putney Vale Crematorium, and then his ashes were buried here alongside his mother and father here in the City of London Cemetery in Manor Park. Bobby Moore will be a legend forever and always. And the, the day he died, West Ham's Upton Park ground was turned into a shrine. Football scarves, memorabilia, autographs, flowers, and the tributes came in from all over the world. The great Pelé said of Bobby Moore, he was the greatest defender I ever played against, and he was my brother. Bobby Charlton, Franz Beckenbauer, the world mourned this great player. I don't think I can say anything about this man today except that he rests here 
He has a plaque alongside his mother and father. A stone's throw were from where it all began for him at West Ham's Upton Park Ground, which is sadly no longer there. And he's not far away from where he was born in Barking in 1941. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Lewis Presents. It was entitled Bobby Moore, Captain of the Welk. Thanks for watching.